Further confirmation that Joe Biden has no business being president. His crazy inflationary policies have led to record inflation. We're on track. We're on track. This is just one month's increase. Overall, 6.8% up over last year. This is as worse as it's possibly ever been. We're going all the way back to the 1980s since we've seen numbers this ludicrous. This is truly an alarming situation. <laughs> all right. It's obnoxious. Turn that down. Turn that down. Uh, it is, though, a big, big deal. But if you watch mainstream media coverage of all this, uh, no, none of this is to be worried about. No, 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 no. You don't understand. First of all, to me, we have the strongest economy perhaps I have ever seen. See that number this morning, the unemployment number? It's the best in years. It's not best in 69. We have all spotted the endless help wanted signs, the housing and apartment shortages, the tremendous demand for goods and services, a marvel to behold. Oh, people are confident about their jobs. I say fantastic. And the ability to even get better ones if they want to. They're spending more than I've ever seen, but they're doing it with cash, not on credit. They're doing so in a Roaring Twenties style. Roaring Twenties style, which led to what? The crash of uh, 1929, right? Isn't that when all the depression and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, there's money flowing around, but it's buying less than ever before. But they always spin it for Joe, always. Big economic relief for millions of Americans who have been dealing with soaring energy prices. Cost of the pump, finally easing up. With the national average for a gallon of regular falling to $3.35, the lowest since October. Just look at that. The average per gallon is at a seven-week low, 334 per gallon, down about a nickel in just the past uh, past few weeks. I do love these good news economic stories that we've been able to tell the last few days. Among the reasons here, pay raises are coming down the pike. There's a radical drop in energy prices. Radical drop in energy prices. Those pennies are going to go a long way. If you really want to know what's happening with the economy, uh, ask this guy. Yo creo que Biden me convirtió en republicano. Biden está destruyendo la economía, la, infl los, los, la inflación está por los, por los cielos, y es terrible. The people get it. The people understand. The media lied to them. Joe Biden asked them to lie to them. Literally, he did that. But the people, like this guy, they get it. So it's bad news all around. So what do we do, mainstream media? Celebrate the life of Bob Dole. His death, I'm sorry, sad, great life, great American life, but for the media and for Joe Biden, it could not have come at a better time because amid all of this negative economic news, they went wall to wall on Bob Dole's funeral. Uh, this might have been the fourth or fifth uh, ceremony honoring Bob Dole. He richly deserved it, but I think, quite frankly, it was uh, exploited by the mainstream media and by Democrats. Anyway, Bob Dole did deserve a big send-off, and he got one. There were some problems. Joe Biden got up to um, eulogize Bob, Senator Dole, and uh, at one point he wanted to read a poem. A poem is supposed to be nice and gentle, right? Listen to this rage read of a poem. And Ingersoll wrote the following. When the will defies fear, when duty throws the gauntlet down to fate, when honor scorns a compromise with death, that is heroism. That is no way to read a poem. At a funeral, at a funeral. but. Overall, this funeral and uh, the mainstream media working in a weird way to Joe's advantage because we have a horrible story like inflation, almost out of control. What do they do? They cover it up. Today, it was the Bob Dole funeral. Could not have come at a better time. Uh, what else? This is their MO, black on black crime. That is, I believe, the story of the decade. Black people killing other black people. They don't like to talk about it, but they do love to talk about white supremacy. How about a serious allegation against Joe Biden, an accusation of sexual assault by Tara Reid, documented to be a former member of her staff. You don't talk about that. You talk about Christine Blasey Ford and matters like that, all right? Change the subject, change the subject. Hunter Biden's finances, Joe Biden's finances, huh? No, no, the real story is they think they try to convince you Trump's 
taxes. A guy who's been a billionaire since he's 30, they're trying to say that he stole money. Uh, let's see. Oh, the Waukesha parade attack. This was a racist attack, clearly. And uh, what do they say the problem is? Basically, anything else. They don't want to talk about the Waukesha parade massacre. Anything else will do. Oh, Jesse Smollett. I want to talk about Jesse Smollett, actually, one more time, if you don't mind. Um, remember the support for him? We showed you this last night. I just think it's incredible. After this phony story emerged, it was so embraced. They wanted to believe it. And even if they had doubts, they ignored him. Uh, Danny, this is a horrible story, no matter what kind of uh, attack or crime it was, but what do prosecutors need to prove uh, to categorize this as a hate crime? Support for Smollett exploding online from Hollywood A-listers to political heavyweights. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi tweeting the racist homophobic attack on Jesse Smollett is an affront to our humanity. No one should be attacked for who they are or whom they love. Democratic presidential candidate and Senator Kamala Harris also weighing in, calling Smollett one of the kindest, most gentle human beings I know, and calling the attack an attempted modern-day lynching. The real attack, of course, was on Trump supporters. They were trying to smear Trump supporters that somehow those of us who supported Trump were responsible for this, that Trump brought this on. That is not true. And now we know for sure, clearly, Jesse Smollett is a liar, and he's going to go to jail. But in the heat of the moment, wow, this thing took off. Here's uh, then-actress Ellen Page, later to become Elliot. We have a media that's saying it's a debate whether or not what just happened to Jesse Smollett is a hate crime. It's absurd. Mm -hmm. This isn't a debate. I agree. I agree. Connect the dots. This is what happens. If you are in a position of power and you hate people and you want to cause suffering to them, you go through the trouble. You spend your career trying to cause suffering. What do you think is going to happen? Kids are going to be abused and they're going to kill themselves and people are going to be beaten on the street. Now that's actually pretty good acting. Pretty good acting. All right. Fake crime, fake performance, Stephen Colbert in agreement, uh, but let's do what she suggested. Let's connect the dots, huh? Because I haven't heard anybody talk about what we just mentioned, the Waukesha Parade Massacre, okay? This is yet to be labeled a hate crime. Why is that? We have a media that won't recognize this as a hate crime. And unlike her, this is genuine. This is real. Six people were killed. It looks like because of their race, all right? according to everything we know about the social media uh, profile of the, uh, the alleged killer here. But uh, no, when it came to Jesse Smollett and that fake uh, event on that Chicago street that nobody believed, um, take a look. This picture obviously says a million things. It says how I feel. It says F Donald. And it also says that the only Donald that we claim is Glover and Duck. Donald Trump, f Donald Trump. He used to sing about it. He used to sing about it and tweet about it. And he wasn't so cheery when he would tweet about Donald Trump in the lead up to that fake attack. Take a look at uh, what he had to say. Oh, shut the hell up, you. Yep, bad word, bad word, N word. Blah, 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 blah. And let's highlight this. You are just a, you're not the president, just a dumpster full of hate. You got a public figure saying stuff like this. And what does our political class say about him, Kamala Harris? Super duper nice guy. One of the kindest, most gentle human beings I know. One of the most gentle human beings who says some of the most horrible things that can be said about anyone. And Jesse Smollett right now is being embraced by Black Lives Matter. And I want you to remember this. When people like uh, politicians, corporations, the NBA, when they continue to embrace Black Lives Matter, when Amazon.com, leading company in the world, endorses Black Lives Matter, remember what Black Lives Matter is endorsing. Anti-America hatred. They don't believe in anything we stand for. They put out a statement in the aftermath of uh, his guilty verdict. 
As abolitionists, we approach situations of injustice with love and align ourselves with our community because we got us. I got to admit, I don't know what that part means at all. Uh, but they go on. Mm, a verdict decided in a white supremacist charade. Yes, they said it. It was all a white supremacist charade. Jesse is being true. Everybody else is in on the charade. What's next, please? Ooh, we find ourselves once again being forced to put our lives and our value in the hands of judges and juries operating in a system that is designed to oppress us. Here's the thing about Black Lives Matter that a lot of folks don't understand. It is the entire system that they say is illegitimate. It is anti-American. The system is American. Next, please. Uh, we can never believe police, especially the Chicago Police Department over Jesse Smollett, a black man who has been courageously present, visible, and vocal in the struggle for black freedom. Did you just hear him singing a moment ago? This is the guy they're proud of? Next. Policing at large is an irredeemable institution. Black Lives Matter will continue to work towards the abolition of police in every unjust system. Policing at large is irredeemable? They want to eliminate police. They want to abolish police, not just defund, abolish it. Remember that when you're buying Nike or going to an NBA game and you see those stupid patches on the uniform, Black Lives Matter is anti-American and dangerous and not enough people know about that. Well Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.